Howdy ho, neighbor. Now, we're here today for week one of the BBR, and boy, let me tell you, it's going to be a doozy. We're going up against Seabed and his uh, Detroit Steel Wings. Now, uh, we've played Seabed twice in the past before. They have both been fucking insane games. The first game, if you remember, there was a huge, like, I missed uh, Compound Eyes Boosted Thunder, and he got a Sludge Wave Poison in the same turn, and it cost me the game. And then in the second game, we played a really, really close match, and then uh, he forgot that he had popped my air balloon, didn't lock into Earthquake, and Blastoise, my offensive Blastoise, lived the hit from Choice Banded fucking Diggersby, so we were able to win that one. So both games have came from, like, some crazy bullshit, you know? So this time, brand new league, brand new teams, first week of the league, and we are going to try to feel out this team the good old-fashioned way, and... Uh, you, you know, you've been able to see everything on the screen from the get-go. So looking at Seabed's team, Rillaboom, terrifying. Or Shifu, terrifying. Mandibuzz, who the fuck drafts Mandibuzz? Ew, you know? Um, Raichu Alola could be super annoying. Uh, Weezing could be super annoying, setting T-spikes and just being a huge defensive wall. So, um, also Steelix looks super annoying. So here's what, here's, here's, here, let me, let me break it down for you, bro. Okay, here's what I was thinking. So, um, Zera Aura goes fucking in this match dude Zera Aura just clicks so many buttons dude it just does so much damage to everything on his team not named Rillaboom or Steelix uh I guess Arcanine also intimidating us isn't the greatest but um Rillaboom and Steelix like I said the only thing Zera Aura doesn't just fuck up and both of those things are super walled by Skarm so uh, I remember when I first saw this matchup, I was like, I don't think I've ever seen a better Rocky Helmet Skarmory matchup. So, um, obviously, we got we got a lot of things and a lot of stuff here. So, um, Kofag. I wanted T-Spikes on the team. I wanted to make sure that was a thing. He doesn't really enjoy dealing with them too much. He does have some, some Boots users, but I can knock those off. Basically, the plan was to get up Rocks, to get up T-Spikes, to either trick the boots users or knock off said boots users we got knock off on several pokemon here uh half the team tbhds and uh we're gonna be spamming that we're gonna want to get up hazards and then we're going to go to work with specs victini and uh expert belt zero aura so first off like i said we got kofag here toxic and toxic spikes so i can t spike and then if mandy buzz wants to come in and defog and be annoying i'm gonna just toxic that stupid fucking bird right just just poison him right in the face and then we can, uh, you know, get that man on a timer. Uh, other than that, Kofag's pretty standard. Just spamming Shadow Ball, being annoying, stuff like that. Then we got Skarm. Oh, it's a Spideff. Um, Spideff Kofag, by the way. Then we got Skarm, Rocky Helmet, Fizdef, a little bit of speed for creeps, uh, Body Press, and Whirlwind. Are the Body Press is the only physical attacking move. Now, originally I was running Iron Defense Body Press, but then uh, my front office talked me into Whirlwind instead phasing things out, getting more hazard chip, blah, 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 blah. Now, one thing I will say, after having already played this match, and I, I forgot to do the fucking team builder, um, stab on Skarmory, super nice, just for future reference. If you're ever running a Skarmory and you're like, who the fuck needs stab? You, you might. So, <laughs> um, then we got Serena, and Serena was a tough call for me because I really needed a spinner. I was looking at his team with rocks and T-spikes, and I was like, uh, boots would probably be nice. But fuck it, I also want to be able to live some special hits, some uh, some Alcremi hits, some uh, Raichu hits, you know, uh, stuff like that. So I did just slap on the Assault Vest, and then we went, I, I was trying to debate if I wanted like a bulkier set, or if I wanted a, uh, you know, something to be able to do some damage. And I thought being able to uh, knock off stuff and actually do a little bit of damage, you turn out on some stuff, do some damage, is actually a little bit more helpful. So we went just adamant max attack with a little bit of HP in the assault vest. Serena's thick as hell, so it is going to be able to live those special hits a little bit better. Then we got Persian, and <laughs> week one we're bringing the cat. God damn it, um, we're bringing Persian. Uh, just four attacks. The only stab we're bringing is fake out, so that's funny. And then we got knock off thunderbolt and water pulse. This is just here to help make sure that Mandy Buzz and Steelix get get worn down. Um, just. Just really nice kind of pivot to have, even though I don't really have... I had U-turn on it at one point, but we no longer have it. So, it's just just nice, just stupid cat being able to hit a lot of things super effectively. And then we got Zero Aura, which this is... <laughs> this is a weird set, man. So, and by weird set, I mean weird EV spread. 
So we do not need a single a single uh, point of speed. If we're naive nature, we outpace everything on this team by one point. I believe even uh, what, what, it was Scarf something. I want to say I want to say it was Scarf something. I don't I don't remember. No, that, that didn't actually make any sense. But um, we outpace every single thing on this team by one point. If we're just uh, speed boosting nature, we don't need any any puntos in speed to be able to outpace things. So I just went full fizz attack and full special attack. <laughs> we just two fifty two in it in both attacks. And that lets us be able to, if Steelix uh, has taken like a little bit of chip, a little bit of rocks or something, uh, knock off plus, oh, I actually changed that from Aura Sphere to Focus Blast, I think. So, knock off plus Focus Blast is actually able to take care of the Steelix. And considering that is his ground type, that is his resist, or immunity rather, to Zero Aura, and it gets beat if I hit a Focus Blast, we'll take, I'll, bro, I'll take those chances any day of the week, you know. Zero Aura looking amazing. Now, um, I can't touch fucking Rillaboom very well. Like, yeah, I can hit it with knockoff and hit it with a special attack that it doesn't appreciate too much, but I don't have any super effective damage for it, so maybe I should have stuck a blaze kick or something like that on there, but hey man, it's too late now. So, last we have Victini, and Choice Specs Victini is just an insane fucking wall breaker in this game. If he doesn't bring a uh, Flash Fire Arcanine, we two hit KO every single Pokemon on this team with Choice Specs Blue Flare. Now, um, you're, 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 you're looking at the matchup and you're going, but Sheldon, that is an Urshifu. That's a water type. How are you going to two-hit KO that? Choice Specs, Blue Flare, After Rocks, two-hit KOs, Urshifu Rapid Strike. If he is Choice Scarf, he'll be able to Rapid Strike us down. If he isn't, if he's uh, just you know offensive with Aqua Jet, he does about half to us. If he's Banded, granted, then we got some problems because Banded After Rocks damage, I think, does have a chance to kill us. But if he's not banded, we just click blue flare the whole game, basically. Till the fucking cows come home. You know, till the milk tanks come home. And uh, it's going to do some big dick damage. I'm definitely looking forward to clicking some buttons. Now, how I, I mentioned the compound eyes boosted thunder miss in the beginning. And I didn't realize this until, like, going into this game. I lost to Seabed because of, like, a fucking point something percent chance. And now, I said I'd never do that shit again. And then here we are with blue flare on a victory star victini which does have a very 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 small chance to miss so i didn't even think about it until we were like click a to play now i was like oh fuck what if what if i miss on like a three percent chance again so <laughs> um you'll have to wait and see if that happens but this is going to be a hell of a game i fucking love seabed he is one of the nicest best dudes in the community he fucking uh we have almost the exact same taste in music so every time we fucking talk one of us has a nickname on about uh one of our pokemon that is fucking just just a solid nickname relating to our tastes in music so it's always funny to see all that but um guys i'm fucking hyped for this battle week one of the bbr about to go live right now so i'll see you in the battle let's do it all right here we are with the battle versus seabad um he brought the urshifu okay the Weezing, the Kadabra, the Rillaboom, the Mandy Buzz, and the Al Creamy. Okay, so huge things we see here: no Raichu and no Arcanine, which mean that um, Skarmory is looking insane this game. Skarmory looks fucking insane. Um, definitely need to get up rocks. That looks super helpful. Kadabra actually looks kind of annoying, TBH. Um, no Steelix either. Holy shit. Yo, no Steelix? There's no Steelix on this team, bro. Uh, there's no Steelix. I'm leading Zara Aura. There is no Steelix. <laughs> this is not... Dude, this is not what I thought was coming at all. Dude, look at look how good Skarmory looks in this game. It looks amazing. We gotta see what the items are gonna be on Rillaboom and Urshi. They could be like Bandit or something, and that could be scary. But um, yeah, man, Victini looks amazing this game too. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 
Parkway. Hell yeah, bro. Fucking Mandy Buzz is here. Mandy Buzz is now. The fact that he let off with this scares me. I'm just like this is this seems dumb, but I'm calcing to see if if he's like scarf foul play. Does he? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hold on, that was at level 100. My bad, guys. My bad. That's level 100. Let's click us a nice clean. Um, I think we can just volt switch. Plasma fist doesn't kill, so we can volt switch. Um, we can volt switch and we can bring out our. No, actually, that's not the play. Let's just click uh, plasma fist. We are just gonna fisting tens. This should do a chunk. That's approximately a chunk. Dark pulse. Okay. Interesting. Muy interesante. So, um. Yeah, I just clicked this again. There's no reason not to click this again. He wasn't weak armor, which is weird. Usually on a special Mandy Buzz, you would see weak armor. He was on the caution, which is the wheezing. Neutralizing gas. Okay. We'll hit this man with a plasma fist. Does not do a lot. He is neutralizing gas. Okay, so we can just go ahead and volt switch on out of here. We also see the lefty, so Mandy Buzz is at like 30%, which is amazing. Uh, Weezing is at, oh wait, ooh, I forgot the HP bar, yay! <laughs> so uh, 50, he's at like 70%. Um, man, this is weird. <laughs> Volt Switch does a chunk, takes him down to about 25. Um... Dude, I'm super tempted to just go into uh, Victini here. He could click T-Spikes. He could click Will-O-Wisp. Um, he could also just click Sludge Bomb. He wouldn't click Sludge Bomb, I don't think. I think if anything, he goes for a Wisp here, maybe a Toxic. I'm going hard into Victini. Young Vic Fuentes in this bitch. He goes for T-Spikes. Okay, makes sense. Uh, we got Spin Serena just for that. And uh, we claim a kill to Blue Flare right now. We claim a kill to Blue Flare. So Weezing goes down to Victini. Uh, if I had to guess, he would want to go into Urshifu here. Which, if he does go Urshifu, um, I would expect a U-turn, I think. Because, like, the way his team is built, dude, like... He kind of has to be Scarf Urshifu, right? Flowmaster. He does go into Young Urshi. I see you, bro. Um, if he wants to throw up a U-turn, that's fine. Uh, I'm going hard Skarm. We have Skarm here for this. If he goes for Surging Strikes, he's going to take some Helmet. If he is Protective Pads, he is the fucking man for bringing that. He does Withdraw. Okay. Okay, I see you, bro. Saffron. Which is the Kadabra. Oakley Doakley. Um, I'm super tempted to just go hard Niki Minjaj here. I think he has to go for like uh, like a charge beam or something here, right? So I'm going to go into Niki Minjaj. I'm Assault Vest. Um, I should be able to eat two hits. And I should be able to spin these uh, spikes away. Do we see charge beam? Charge beam, yes sir. 
I wrote down charge beam, but I only wrote CB, and I don't want this to confuse me later <laughs> and it'd be like, is this fucking choice banded Kadabra? Uh, we are Assault Vest. So I should live any hit. Oh, no, no maybe not Psy Shock. Yike. Come on, Serena, you thick. Damn, that shit died, bro. That shit died? Oh my god. Hold on. Yo, that shit died? I did not expect that to die. Um... Hold on, bro. That's like... I'm pretty sure that's fucking... I'm pretty sure that's Life Orb. I don't think this is Sash. So we'll bring out our cat. We're bringing out the cat. Now, I could throw off a knockoff. I could, in fact, throw off a knockoff. I could also just fake out to be safe. I think I want to just fake out and get some damage off on something. He does withdraw. Dog, I'm pretty sure that's Life Orb. He goes in a parkway. We're going to lose some HP there. And some poison. Big yikes. Uh, I just off a Thunderbolt here, I think. Should be fine. So, we're going to kill Mandy Buzz with Persian. It's always a sad day when you see Parkway Drive die, but hey man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Urshifu, Kadabra, Rillaboom, Alcremi. And we just lost uh, Serena. He goes into Big Rilla. Oh, the dude. Oh, 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 you gotta respect the fucking Avenged Sevenfold nicknames, bro. Oh, buddy, do you gotta respect an Avenged Sevenfold nickname. So, how super obvious is Skarmory here, dude? How super mega obvious is Skarmory right now? I really just want to throw off a knockoff or something, expecting him to maybe go back into Kadabra. Oh, I really want to. Uh, I don't know if I can, man. I think I got. I think I just got to go... Uh, I think we just got to go back into Skarm. I think we just got to go back into Skarm. I really want to make that play, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that. He doubled already, so I don't know if he will make the same play. He's going to U-turn. Okay, we do see him take some helmet chip, so that means uh, Rillaboom is going to be, what is it, 16%? So he's at 84. Saffron comes right back out. Now we can go into... I think we go into Funky Tut here, right? We go Funky Tut, and I think we set some T-Spikes of our own. If he wants to Charge Beam, I'm a, I'm Spadef Kofag, so hopefully we don't just die. He does Shadow Ball, that's a good play. God damn, dude. Bro, what? Bro, what? That crit did so much, bro. God damn. Um, I guess that didn't really matter too much, but damn, that sucks. I'll attempt to go for a T-Spike. But he just kills me here. 
pretty easily. Maybe he wants to get cheeky and switch out. Um, as long as we keep uh, Skarm in the back, we shouldn't lose to Rillaboom. Kofag goes down to Kadab. Yo, that's a really good set. I gotta, I gotta give respect to respect this dude. That's a good fucking set. Um. We go back into our cat. And this time we click knockoff. He could just go off Creamy this time, which uh, would be unfortunate. But I'm hoping he goes into... Okay, he goes Flowmaster. What are we going to see here? Knock off. Show me that Scarf. Show me that Scarf. Protective Pads. Okay, that's what you love to see. Sweet. So... So as long as we keep, well, let me see how much I'm doing to this man. Um, I'm clicking T-Bolt. I am clicking T-Bolt. I think he has to, he goes for Jet. Okay. He gets that play right. God damn it. Persian goes down to Urshi. Damn, bro, this is not going how I wanted it to go, <laughs> you know? Aqua Jet only does 42 to 50, and Bolt Switch kills. Um... One fourteen. Aqua Jet does not kill us. Let's go into uh, let's go into our homie here. Let's go, young Zeradorian. Zer now let's go for a nice clean gold switch. He could go, I guess he could go Rilla. He could just jet me and take the chip. He does just jet me for the chip. Big X. Bolt switch. Sweet. Earthsheet dies to Zera Aura. He's got Kadabra, Rillaboom, and Alcreamy. Kadabra, Rillaboom, and Alcreamy. I think I gotta go Victini here. I should be able to live a hit from anything. And uh, I'm choice spec, so I can throw off a huge hit. Dude, I've never seen a cadaver put in this, which, this much work in my life, bro. Fucking respect to Seabed. He just goes Saffron. Uh, we just throw off a blue flare. He does withdraw. Okay. What's going into? Smart. Smart play. If this is two, it KO'd him. I'm clicking the thing, though. This is choice specs. Fuck, man. Uh, if I'm at 113. If I'm at 133. So 
Shadow Ball has a chance to kill from here. Uh, I think I just gotta click Blue Flare again. I think I gotta click Blue Flare again, and I have to save uh, Zara Aura. So Al Creamy goes down to Victini. Dude, this is a close fucking game, huh? Yo, if he's modest Kadabra right now, um, he does go to Saffron. He does go to Saffron. Okay. We are at, uh, let's see what percentile here. 111. Shadow Ball is a guaranteed Oko if he's timid. If he is for some reason, um... Yeah, I just gotta click it. If he's modest, um, which he shouldn't be, he does go for Shadow Ball. That's gonna kill us. So Victini dies to Kadab. That's three Kadabra kills. Fellers, that is three Kadabra kills. This is, it's gonna get real dicey right about now. My guys, it's about to get real fucking dicey. Because he's about to have Rillaboom, right? He has to go Rillaboom here, I think. Do I just Plasma Fist? And then I always have Skarm to go into? Yikes. Uh. This is looking real fucking risky. I think he's got to go Rillaboom here. So I think I have to... I think I got to Volt Switch. Oh, I'm going to do it. Um, this is going to come down to like three 50-50s here in this endgame. He does withdraw. He'd love to see it. Goes into Rillaboom. We do Volt Switch. Does a good amount. Not a lot, but it does some. <laughs> uh, we have seen U-Turn. On Rillaboom. So now we have to go into this gentleman right here. I think he has to U turn into Skarmory here. Right? I mean, U turn into. Uh... I think he has to U turn into Kadabra. I'm clicking Whirlwind. I think he has to U-turn into Kadabra. This might have been a bad play. I don't know. We shall see. He goes for Leech Seed. Can confirm. Bad play. Okay. I thought for sure he was going to U-turn there. Okay. Damn. That might have just cost me the game. Fuck. Fuck. So, I just have to, yeah, He's if he kills me, he kills me. Fucking hell. He does just Shadow Ball. That's going to do a chunk. Can we live? We do live. We got to Whirlwind him again. Yikes. Homie's dragged out. Oh, dude, yeah, I think we're going to lose this. Fuck. Is that Kadabra, bro? Holy shit, what a set. I have to go for body press here. Hopefully... Hopefully he takes some helmet chip and this just does a bunch, you know? There's body press. That does a lot, huh? Yeah, I think we lose now. F's in the chat, boys. I think we lose now.
Yo, what a fucking set, dude. Oh, and that's the... Okay. Yeah, we definitely lose. I was hoping maybe there was one more turn of uh, terrain. And we would be able to uh, pull this one out. But alas. But alas. So, here's the thing, right? Does he... Does he save Diff? Does he try to save Diff? Because I could... Try to 2 it KO him with Aura Sphere. Is that even worth... Is that even a play worth making? Knockoff still does more. Okay. He does withdraw. Yeah, he just takes us out with a grassy glide then. Mother duck. What a fucking game, dude. Holy shit. Miracle Seed. Okay. So I'm gonna take a wild assumption and say we die to this here Aura Sphere. I mean, uh, you know, to this here uh, Grassy Glide. And uh, he's gonna pick up the 2 0 win unless I crit the ever living fuck out of this Aura Sphere somehow. And he just doesn't have it. He does have it. Okay. That is a, dude, great fucking game to see bad. Holy fuck. Great fucking game to see bad. Holy shit. I can't even be mad at that, dude. I've never seen a Kadabra put in that much work in my life. Um, Crit on Kofag didn't matter. I was still 2 at KO'd. Even Max Bedef Kofag dies to fucking uh, Life Orb Kadabra, apparently. Um, Serena, I, I thought for sure it would live and I would get off the spin, you know? Like, motherfuck. Um, damn, dude. I can't even be mad. That was fucking awesome. What a set from Seabad, dude. What a fucking set. Um... I was going to say definitely check out Seabad, but you you already know you are. If you're, you know, if you've made it this far in Draft League, you were 100% uh, already following uh, Chase there. So, um, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, guys. Th this was a hell of a start to this BBR season, boys. I was like, you know, we're one and one versus Seabad, so I was like, man, I really need to get this dub here. I got to prep hard to be able to take out Steelix. I got to be able to... Uh, you know, take care of the boots on Arcanine and Mandy Buzz, and he just did not bring what I thought he was going to bring, and fucking Kadabra just, golly gee willikers, dog, you know, just golly gee willies. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, what a fucking game, can we get some, can we get some fucking, some likes for just what an insane game that was, god damn, I'm flabbergasted, but alright, I'll see you guys next week, bye forever. So what